Hello, today we want to show you how to assemble and set up your Stinger 2 Tactical. When you buy your Stinger 2 Tactical, it comes supplied in this box. Inside of the box, you will find all the main components and our owner's manual. It is in five different languages, a lot of pictures are in there, and of course, there are all the important safety instructions in it. We strongly advise that you read it carefully. I like to start with the main body, which is this one, made from high quality polymer. And first step is to insert the buttstock. Um, it could be that the threads are a little bit tight. Uh, what helps here is lubrication. Um, for example, you can use our rail loop, which is important for maintenance of the crossbow. It's very good if you keep the, the, the rail lubricated at all times. Don't need a lot of it. Just put a little bit on the threads so that it screws easier. This step here is crucial. Um, be careful that you uh, put it perfectly in line. Yeah? Don't, don't put it in from an angle um, and try to find the beginning of the thread. Once you feel that the thread is catching, yeah? sometimes it's harder on the camera so I think I've done it yes perfect and then just screw it in all the way until it stops Uh, this will be at any random position. Then go back to the desired location and use the castle nut to put torque on the whole assembly. There are two ways to do that. Um, in the instruction manual, we advise that you use the special um, tool that we supply. You just hook it in into the slots and put some torque on it. There is another way, which I personally prefer, uh, <clears throat> when you put it here a little bit before the desired end position, I would say about 10, 10 to 15 degrees uh, offset of, of the desired location. Then just with your hand, tighten down the castle nut and then put torque on it, uh, just pushing it, uh, uh, turning that into the final position. Uh, so we have now assembled the whole pistol body and, and, and buttstock assembly. Next step is to insert the limbs. Uh, standard is 55 pounds. You will find in the hardware kit all the tools and parts that you need. It's mainly two shims that are used before and after the, the limbs, the end caps and the string and the stringing aid. The stringing aid is completely black. It's a steel cable that's rubber coated. You have two strings, in this case orange and black, but this could vary. Um, yeah, then let's start. You also have a set screw in there. Pull that out. On the set screw you will find some kind of thread locking okay. compound that makes it a little bit harder to screw it, but it shouldn't be a problem. Just insert it in the front. And with the supplied Allen key, just screw it in. That's the first step. So. Until you see that the screw comes out a little bit. Then one in the back, then the limb. And one of the shims in the front. And then just screw it down. When you feel that the screw is touching the shims, it's the perfect time to make the final adjustment. You will find here white lines on both sides. Make sure that the distance on both sides of the body is the same, or roughly the same. And then if you have achieved that, just tighten it down. Don't over tighten the screw. It's just necessary to hold the limbs in place. Uh, as soon as there is straw weight on the limbs, it's pushed to the body, so it's always fixated in, in place. 
put on the limb caps. Uh, you can also glue them to the limbs if you want. Adds a little bit stability to them. But that's not necessary usually. And then just put on the string it. Here is important that you use the, the inner grooves of the limb caps. Yeah? The outer groove here is for the string and the inner one with the hook, that's for the stringing aid. Yeah? Put the stringing aid behind the cocking bars and then just use the lever to put pre-tension into the limbs and then <coughs> use the string. I like to push one through here, through the loop of the, of the string aid. Then put one side onto the groove. And then also through the string aid. And here to the other end cap. Yeah, and once you have done that, gently release uh, the tension by pushing back and forward on the string aid, you see? Now the string is tensioned and also this part is finished. So, next step is to put on the magazine, yeah? This is this part here, it comes fully assembled. All you have to do is screw it onto the crossbow. For this you have a shorter screw, a longer screw and washers. Yeah, two for the front, one for the back and also one nut. I like to start on the back, put the washer onto the screw and just screw it down. some time. Then. And then on the front, once again, put one washer onto the screw. Put the screw through here. Put on the second washer and the nut. So, and here you will find on the, on the special tool for the buffer tube, for the castle nut, there is also an indentation for the nut. In the combination with the Allen key, you can screw it on. Also here, don't over tighten the screws. It's not necessary to put excessive force on them. Just hand tight, three to five newton meters. So last step is the is the vertical foregrip. Also here it could be that the thread is a little bit stiff inside. I suggest also lubricating this thread here with the same rail loop, just a little bit in three or four spots. Yeah, perfect. And then make sure that the little pin that's protruding here is below the line of the lower profile here. Yeah. Then just slide it to the desired location. Yeah. Look through the hole that you are in between of, of two slots in the Picatinny rail and just use the screw here in the, in the bottom to tighten it down. It should be completely free of play and absolutely sturdy. That's it. You have set up your Stinger 2 for action.